succinct, but I'm not defined. I will give a definition of what, what, what means essentially time. So this is for G equal to GLN. And C is an L parameter for G. And C is called essentially time. If the restriction of phi to, uh, to T1, which is the uh, y inertia group, oh, it's not G1, sorry, <laughs> gamma 1 f of um, gamma f, which is what's wrong. Uh, is it just a if that restriction is a direction of character? Um, our first remark uh, is this apparent always if you assume, so if P does not divide N, so P is the residue as with all characteristic of F, which is a char characteristic of its residual field. Uh, so if P does not divide N, then uh, any phi is uh, essentially time. And more precisely, we there is a characterization of uh, essential tightness using this kind of uh, object. So, define the torsion number of phi. So, um, so, we call it T of phi, will be the torsion number of phi is. The, the order of a group of character of characters chi of and we want to have such that chi phi is equivalent to phi and then uh, result that phi is essentially time if and only if p does not divide uh, n mod tf. So in particular, if, if n does not divide n, uh, it is essentially time. Okay, so now look at the example that I was interested in last day, which was yesterday, which was SL2. Like now yeah, G is SL2 over F. <coughs> and cool. G tilde over GL2. And so here P and, and I, I was taking a field F of characteristic uh, of characteristic two, which is P here. Uh, sorry, um, of characteristic two. So and, and uh, if you take sorry, I take a, a field of characteristic P first, and then so it means that it is a finite extension of F Q over G, so its residual characteristic is also P. Uh, and uh, uh, I was looking at the case where P is equal to two. So if you so and and also N is also equal to two. So if you look at this condition here, uh, it just means that T of phi has to be um, so it means that Phi is not essentially time. So, yeah. 
i is not essentially 10 means that uh, okay the it's implied that c of 5 is uh, sorry? In the proposition, do you want phi to be useful? Uh, yes, so thank you. <coughs> uh, uh, more than that, I think here phi will be irreducible. And uh, I'm not And uh, trivial of our set. Yeah, I'm just looking for the case of of super custodial representation. Uh, okay, and then what have we And now we have three uh, cases. So in this case, uh, uh, not essentially then implies phi is totally uh, uh, yes so this was I mean this was for phi tilde because this definition here was good here so it's a bit confusing okay so phi tilde yes um, not essentially then implies that it is totally ramified And then uh, for uh, irreducible uh, representation of GL2, which are totally ramified, we have, we have there are three cases. So, three cases. Sorry? Yes, well, right, thank you. So, um, so phi is here, because, uh, thank you, it was a notation, so phi is, and long dance parameter for SL2 and I take and, and, and let fit in there the a lift of, uh, of phi uh, which, which has um, um, of minimal depth. Which means that among all the possible lift of pi, I take the one which has minimal depth. Uh, so thank you. And so we have three cases for, 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 for such uh, totally ramified character. Uh, five to that would be uh, And is that is tetra or uh, so in this case um, in both case it is uh, and here it is not Am I? Yeah. I think the remark was that in the equivalence in the second line from below, it should be an equal one instead of not equal. Uh, equal, yeah. I was sure that I will write in form. Thank you. Uh, and um, so if phi tilde is, uh, in the first case, it's octahedral, which here is the case where phi tilde of the volume f is isomorphic to S3, and here it is isomorphic to A4. Uh, we can compute the depth, I mean, we compute the depth, and we find that uh, just here, in this case, d of phi, d of phi. S4. Yes? S3 or S4? Uh, S4. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and uh, so here it's just 
and yeah, we'll find this one for some for some inject for some n non-zero m and here the professor yes okay, I wrote it down because I do not remember find out it's here this is like n plus two and here it's it's n and this one is 5m plus 1 mod 4. So if you look at this, this we, in both cases we have d of 5 r which is strictly greater than d of 5. And we have taken for, uh, for 5 children the, the, the lift with minimal depth, so all the, the lift of, of a, a, a depth which is strictly bigger than the depth of phi. And uh, uh, in the last case, so in this case, in the primitive case, so phi tilde is obtained by induction yes, from the value group of some quadratic extension of some character uh, phi. phi. So, it's not correct, it's here. And uh, in that case, we can compute, uh, we have the following formula for the, for the depth. And let's say more, so of course it's a, it's a separable quadratic extension. And what we found is that um, the formula here, so d, d of phi is equal to d, so the, the depth of that, that character uh, psi of the volume E plus d, uh, so what sorry, mod 2. Uh, yes, and here it's d of psi plus d. So the same same number here, where d of this is just the discriminant is defined by by the fact that d e mod f is one is the following power of a maximal idle of uh, e of a, of a, the ring of the of e and uh, d, this is the discriminant of the relative discriminant discriminant mod f and then we can check that there exists character that for any no, it's not there, but for any character c which uh, occurs in this formula, the depth of c is uh, not equal to the depth of c square. So this was a, just a very small example, and. Um, In some sense, I was maybe insist, in, insisting too much on the fact that the death is not always preserved. And, um, I, and as uh, uh, Vincent Secher uh, uh, as, as, uh, as remarked to me, uh, it could be the case that, in general, uh, essential detail is a, a, a too um, strong condition. So because in the case of SL2, it's very special because we have just essentially tame and then totally ramified uh, situation. But in the, for a general group, uh, the, in between the, the essentially tame case and the wild case, there are other possibilities. So the, the guess is that it is, should be only 
into a wide case that we could get um, non-preservation of a, of a death. And also, uh, I think I, I've, I'm not sure if I to say that, that uh, Radica uh, has proved that the death is preserved for GSP4. For instance, right? G is GSP4. Um, that is preserved and so uh, but just before is a uh, and the, the remark which is just um, very, very vague is that GLN and uh, GSPN, GSPN 2 n um, are both connective center. And the center, uh, in contrast, the center of SLN is disconnected. So it's a I mean, natural guess, but there are no uh, no further information on it. So it's just a, just a guess. But if G, if the center of G is connected, it seems that the it's the best thing, but the, maybe. The, the deck will be always preserved. Because the problem for SL2 really came from this uh, problem, question of lifting. Uh, and the other uh, natural question which was, I think it's a very interesting question which was asked to me by uh, Jonathan Cohen this morning, is the following. I mean, again, correct me if I don't understand properly your question. Uh, is the following is that if, uh, in the cases, or in the general case, or in the cases when the death is not preserved, Is it, and I, I do not have a, the answer to that question, is it possible to, I mean, to find a correct form, to find a formula which express, which relates to death? On both sides of this. For me, it's an open question. Uh, which means that uh, uh, the formula in the case where the death is preserved is just uh, d of pi is equal to d of phi. But maybe it's possible to find uh, some invariant which is uh, uh, which reduced to, to 1 or to 0 in the case when, uh, when, when we are in the same case and which, in the case which is when it's not wild situation and which in the wild case will give this, this formula. But it's uh, absolutely unclear to me because I do not see from these three formula how to extract from them some uh, guess for a general formula. For the case of Tolai, uh, for the white case? So for Tolai, when we obtain the uh, JKU proof that the death is preserved, the I, and in the white case, it's a very good question, I don't know. So I didn't check it. So I'm something like well, well, right. It would be the first case to to look at. So um, I will uh, leave the death, the death for for a while. If time stop, if time allow, I will. It will come again in some of the talk later in this lunch. 
aspect. So now, sorry, yes. Uh, oh, so good question. I didn't check it. So the, the idea for, for GLN is to express the depth uh, for the representation using the local constant. In fact, using the, the so you have the epsilon factor and using the, the root of the, the unit root of the, which, no, not the unit, the, the power of Q. Uh, looking at the epsilon factor. And uh, I don't know if there's such a comparison is still, uh, such an expression is still valid for PGL. Okay. There is something which should be possible probably to, to look for. But for the, for the proof of GLN is based on uh, bushnell kutzko theory of, uh, of, of strata. So, and for PGL, uh, <laughs> I did I didn't try to to see this uh, what, what kind of construction how they work in the case of PGL. <coughs> Essentially a torus case. Yes. Uh, so what you say about toral case? For regular supercess spiders. Uh, the path preservation is it? Yes, I think yes, I think it's it's, a, it's one case that we yeah, we should be studied. Because the regular super representation of one trust. So they are constructed using the construction of uh, of Jackie Yu and uh, and it has been simplified in this special case by uh, Galeta. And in that case, you know, thanks to, to Kavita, uh, what, what is the long loss correspondence. And so we have uh, all the tools are there. So yes, I think it's a very interesting question to, to, to try to compute the depth in, the, in, this, in this case. Yes, in there, in there it's clear that it's... Uh, and it's, I think it's, yeah, I think in that case it's... From, from Kavita description of, uh, of the correspondence, it should be clear that the depth is preserved. Because the construction is really based on... I mean, it's yes. kind of very natural, yeah. So it's uh, so thanks to Manish, it means that this uh, that which I mean, I, I, it it should be also the other that it should be should be preserved in the time case should be preserved in general in the time case in general and. So it seems to be true. I, mean, I have to check it to, to, to check that for regular super hospital representation. So just uh, to to explain for the one of you who do not know uh, Kalita paper. So the the construction he is using is a. Uh, Many based to the, on the construction of Jackie U, and in the construction of Jackie U, you have a twisted Levy, a twisted sequence of Levy subgroup, and uh, in particular, we start with with a group like this, G0, G1, maybe GT finite sequence, which is the the, the group G we are studying, and uh, uh, here. You take a representation here, a depth zero, uh, zero representation. So depth zero, you have already seen in uh, Colin uh, first talk, uh, which means uh, say pi zero, and which means that pi zero, um, and it is. Uh, so uh, we are only looking at superficial at the moment. So pi is compactly induced to our group G0 from some representation of some, say, G0x of, um, I will try to, to use some notation as of uh, rho, where rho is, so this one is a parahoric subgroup of G, of G naught, and um, 
So, which means that we have here gx plus, we have gx, sorry, we are all in gf, g dot. And here, we have a, what is usually called the reductive quotient of the parabolic. <coughs> and this one is a finite reductive group, which means uh, that it is a uh, decision group. Which means that G is L of G. This one is um, the F cube point of a finite of a Q point of a of a connect. So here I take parahoric, so it is connected, connected reductive group over F Q. And so you can consider Rothschilder, which is an irreducible cuspidar, which it is the same Rothschilder uh, which occurs in the uh, uh, first lecture of Colin, the irreducible representation of this band group. And, uh, okay. And then, this representation have been uh, classified by Lustig, and some of them are, um, in the case where we are taking care of a regular is essentially to say that the representation we are starting with again means that rho tilde is of the of the following form. It is it a Dolin-Lustig representation? So rho tilde is up to sign. The sum terms t. So we have a tolus here, and from this tolus, uh, 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 Kalita is able to, post to, to using this construction to, and, and pi solid is, uh, is induced, compactly induced also from using this uh, Eastern sequence, this is JKU construction, and Kalita. So JKU is without any condition on, on, uh, on Rothschilda and uh, Kalita study the, this case, which is in some sense almost, uh, it's not in some sense, almost all the representation of G, G not X are on, on almost all the cus irreducible cuspidal representation of G, X not are of that form. So he constructed the, give a uh, local correspondence. So, Almost all irreducible representation of G when so G is arbitrary and uh, but to to be sure that we have all the superficial in that way we have to assume that he is large enough and the exertion of this is to do it again. Okay. okay, it was just a remark, <laughs> but, uh, but that is good because I, I should have said this in my first lecture when I was uh, given a kind of survey on the local and mass correspondence. And, and, so, and in that case, using this, and Kalita has a new construction, which simplifies in, in the case of the DNC, the construction of JQ. Of and uh, from that construction, as Manisha said, uh, it's, 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 it's actually clear that the depth is preserved. Okay, and uh, if you are interested to try to, to, to have a look on the, uh, this construction and to see how in what sense in, of course it's not is much more general as what we have seen here because the group is arbitrarily but at, at the same time is Less general in the sense that we have to assume that it's not. At least that's a really bad case. So if you are interested to compare the two constructions, you can uh, to compare for GLM, only for GLM. To compare just for GLM. You can look at your preprint of, of, of our own. For GLM, 10, 10 case, which is the case of the interest, you can look at. 
up there. Okay, now I will. Is it possible to say what is a regular representation? It's a regular is that you, you the, the, the rotilda here, in general, it's an irreducible to speed of representation of your group. It's not always a double investing representation. So regular means that you take for this adenius with some mild aval assumption in the, in, the, in the sequence of the phi i, the JKU character. But essentially, the, 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 the condition is this. So, so do you assume that the uh, yeah, you are looking, it's an irreducible to speed up. So it means that uh, this has to be an irreducible representation. And so theta is an uh, internal position. So this is sort of the. And it is exactly the one. The it's exactly the one which are in the extreme, I mean, the opposite uh, direction of the one which occurs in the in, uh, epic lecture. So in, in some sense, this. It's true, it's for almost irreducible representation. So it's so it's very interesting. But at the same time we lose a few of them, the unipotent cuspidal. So but we lose the unipotent cuspidal. And uh, and of course we are very rare, but I mean we are very, very interesting. I mean, I, I like the unipotent case paper. And I think you should like them too, because uh, the first, okay, the first unipotent case paper reducible representation of a final group Is in mm. yeah, and it is the datum for its before, which was founded, find it, not found, it was found <laughs> due to the mass universal. and she discovered it before the linear lustig. Uh, uh, find the construction of the linguistic uh, representation. Okay, so, but, I mean, okay, it seems that I am doing something different that I was supposed to do, but it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, what I just, just to see. Okay, okay so probably, it's, I'll just, just to change my schedule. And uh, our, um, wait, start to talk uh, about, uh, I'll come back to long loss, to enhance long loss parameter. Right. And uh, so, what should be the best thing to do? And probably it's the right time now to so um, so now we we'll come back to we'll come back to n n parameter parameter to remind you that so far is as usual. Okay. Um, so today I will consider the general situation. So. Uh, the US, this will be the L group, and um, this is the Vagolin group. So, uh, this. so, so phi is a, an L parameter, and um, the longest parameter has is, is, is a, a pair where rho is some you know, this, this is representation of some. Final group. So in, the, in my first lecture, G was a split. So here, G will be arbitrarily connected, connected group. And who is an irreducible representation of some group here? Uh, I call S5. So
already we have already seen yesterday in radical damage tool. Um, okay, I, I will uh, recall the definition later, too, but for, for, the, for the moment, I assume that you already know. Um, and this group is called here S5, a note uh, R5, which was the group in my, in my first talk. I was using a group which I called R5. I have called that, which is the, which was the centralized group of components of C G. So it was when the group when she was split. And I was considering the centralizer of the image of phi divided by this the center times the collected component of that centralizer. But today, um, G is uh, arbitrary, and in fact, what we are looking for, we are, we are, we are at the moment considering, we are at the moment considering all the inner form, all inner form of G. together. So if I denote by G star, as, uh, which is a, a star annotation, uh, so in any, in, you could, we have a group and you could look at all its inner form that is always, that is a unique one, and, and there's always one, which is a uh, quasi split, and just traditionally denoted G star, and it, you already seen it in a uh, um, Um, this was for G star, so and um, first thought it was split, but in fact it was it's all, all it is also um, same same situation in the case of a group which is just quasi split, and um, the point is that all inner form of inner form of a given group inner forms I would say of G star. Well, I'm saying L group. Which means that this group here, which is, a, so there is an actual action of a Val group on the uh, long, long uh, dual groups, G, G check, and all the inner form of a given PID group are the same uh, L group. And because you are looking at a homomorphism from the volume F prime to uh, L of G, we do not see on phi, I mean, just if you just write this, um, which, which is the inner, inner form we are considering at the moment. So it's a way to, there is a way to, 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 to figure out what, which one it is. By, the, by using the notion of polygons. But today, um, forget this. So at the moment, I am just considering all the inner form of a given group together, because it's 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 simple. So this, I, th I think, besides you, is mainly due to David Vogel. Okay. So now, uh, like, so you have seen also in Eric talk the definition of a discrete discrete long -lost parameter, and uh, today what I would like to give to you is the definition of a Cuspidal and Hans-Langlands parameter. <coughs> so, Pyro is cuspidal if the following property all if first, uh, so if we have some familiarity with uh, Langlands correspondence and uh, Langlands L package, uh, you know that uh, in, a, in a given L package, uh, if that L packet contains a cuspidal representation, the, the long lens parameter has to be discrete. So it's natural to want to 
define the notion of cuspid. Of course, the idea is to the, um, the idea behind this is that an cuspid enhanced parameter should be should correspond by local normal correspondence to cuspidal representation of the PI decode. So it's natural to, to request that phi is discrete. But uh, it's not, an, uh, um, in general, it's not a sufficient condition. And again, if you have some familiarity with L packet, you know that uh, the there exists L packet in general, which contains at the same time supercuspidal and non supercuspidal. And L packet pi phi might contain, and it's really happen, um, and it's, it's happen, both cuspidal and non-cuspidal representation so non-cuspidal but uh, discrete series because uh, if it contains so you have a packet and you assume that you in, in, inside your packet you have some you have at least one cuspidal representation then the, the phi has to be discrete, so the packet can only contain this discrete series. But some discrete series which are not supercuspidal, and this, uh, if you take uh, phi which is, um, I mean, which has trivial restriction to the inertia group, uh, and in fact it's, and this, uh, this kind of uh, situation can happen, and you can look at. Mark, um, I think first time you can look at an uh, old paper by Mark Hedder. And uh, okay, the assumption that phi has trivial restriction of the inertia subgroup, this in general should be should correspond to should correspond to unipotent Representation of G, which by should correspond, I mean that the, the unipotent representation of a PID group that we, we have definition we have already seen in, in Eric lectures, it is expected that they correspond by local long loss correspondent to the, the long loss parameter which have trivial restriction to the inertia. And uh, as uh, also Nick has said yesterday, this is known to be true when G of is of a joint type and more generally a joint type and due to acoustic. Okay, so now if you take such kind of situation, you can find example of L packet which contains at the same time non cuspidal and non cuspidal. And uh, we have an example for something already in SP4. In G2, for instance, I mean several examples, I mean I will not uh, give all of them, but if you look at SP4 and you have a packet, with that's a packet, we can say unipotent representation and you will find the one which is such that culture is, is theta 10, so the, the, the low such that we have. So it's because we have unipotent cuspidal representation that this kind of phenomenon Happen. So phi is discrete, and and so this was to to I mean to to explain to you that in the definition it's not possible <coughs> to have a notion of cuspidality which only depend on phi because in the same attached to the same phi we can have cuspidal and non cuspidal. So the, the condition really need to include the second parameter, the low, the enhancement, and here is. The notion is a cuspidal pair. And G phi. So, uh, what is what is U phi first? U phi, I guess. I think you can guess what it is. 
it's just it's it's a unipotent element and it's just defined as the image by phi so phi is, is yeah so you take in SL to C you take a standard unipotent element which is here and so you you take the image by the parameter of that unipotent element and you get the unipotent element in uh, in your long long tool. And then we have a certain group G phi. Um, so G phi is um, okay since time is going fast I will for the definition here I will assume that G is split and I will give it the general definition next talk. So G, in, in, when G is split, G phi is just defined as the following. You should just take the, cent, the centralizer in G check of phi of the body weight. So phi is, is this. So instead of taking like here the, all the image of phi, so the image by phi of the Weidelin group, you only consider the image of a Vi group. So it's to get a subgroup of G, G, G check and you take its centralizer. So the idea is to put a vast group if you choose a So and if the group is not split, I, I will show you next time that you can have a similar group which reduce to that group that to, to that definition in the split case. So then we have a group. Let me just take a see the time. So we have that group and uh, it is very interesting because you get a complex reductive group. You have a complex reductive group and uh, so G5 is a complex reductive group. Our law in general is not connected. And uh, it's clear that it, it, it is not connected in general because in the definition of the long of parameter, we have that condition that the, the image of the element in, if you take an element in the body wave, you, you will get a semi-simple element here. And uh, as you know, uh, if you look at the centralizer in, in G, G check of a, of a semi-simple element, in general, that group is not connected. But nevertheless, it's a, it's, it's a nice group. It's a complex reductive group. And, and I say that you have a unipotent cuspidal, uh, cuspidal pair, so what it is. Um, so this is, has been introduced uh, by Lustig. So we say that U5 group is, OK, I forgot something. I guess I forgot something very important. Uh, rho is an um, irreducible representation of S5. So for the end of this talk, I will take G split, just to simplify. And so G S5, in that case, S5 is, uh, um, it will take a, it will be a representation of R5. So for, this is a technical remark. So, in fact, rho, technical point. So, in fact, we start with rho and noticeable representation of S5. But now I am, here I was looking at all the inner form together. Here I am looking just at one group G, which I assume to be split. Uh, so it is equal to, so G is just the group but I have denoted here by G star. And uh, because I want only one, only this group, I will consider the character here such that uh, a certain uh, character which, so we have seen yesterday also in, in, uh, in uh, Eric talk, but I will recall tomorrow, but the, the, the inner form is uh, characterized by some character attached to some group H1, uh, thanks to Kotwitz homomorphism. And you take the, the irreducible representation, so 
So it's like that character that just stands equal to one. I think in the notation of the lecture it should be pi of S phi one. Yeah. This is because you are taking the, the semi-simple group. And the point is, I, I didn't finish my technical remark, is that in fact the uh, this is the same thing as looking at all the irreducible character of S phi is the same as taking this by S phi 1. <coughs> In, essentially, uh, S phi will be, it will be essentially, it will be essentially the, the, that group of components with by the center, but if you model by the center, it's the same thing as taking that character type of one. So anyway, so what is the representation of that group? And the, the good point, and the important point is that that group, in fact, is canonically isomorphism. I mean, it's not difficult to prove, but it's really important because all the, all the things is based on that. This is canonically isomorphism with, uh, with what? with a group of components, again, but now it will be the group of components of group G5. And so, G, so you have phi, phi give you unipotent, you, phi give you two things, two objects, the centralized, so in fact you can, phi is going from WF cross from the very very the group. So WF cross SL to C. You first look at the part which corresponds to the Y group and you consider the centralizer of the image. You get some group, yeah, clearly G5. And of course you have forget you have forgotten the SL2 part. So now you take the image by phi of this unipotent character to recover the SL2 part. And you get a unipotent element. So now you, you view your phi as a group and the unipotent element in that group. And when you have that, it's natural to consider the centralized the group of components. But it's not this, uh, uh, let's say, this is, uh, this is not true. <laughs> so uh, then, uh, in G5, you consider the centralizer of U5. And then this group, you take, uh, and then you, you consider the A of U5, which is just the group of components of this group. Okay, notation are pretty complicated, but uh, it's not complicated. Yes. So you have a group, complex group, and maybe disconnected, and you look, and you take a, a new unipotent element. You have a group G, unipotent element in G and you look at by the group of components of a centralizer in G of U. I mean, it's something very natural to do for this I of U. Okay? But then, the point which is important is that R of phi is in fact canonically isomorphic to A of U phi. So this gives you a way to pass from local long loss correspondence at some to from an ounce long loss parameter to uh, uh, pairs given by um, unipotent uh, some some co some complex group, a unipotent element in that complex group, and an irreducible representation of a group of components of the centralizer of that element. And this reminds you uh, a Springer correspondence when you have a uh, unipotent element centralizer of unipotent element who are arriving to Springer correspondence. But of course, Springer correspondence does not give all, and uh, especially uh, uh, you need its generalization by Lustig, which is called generalized Springer correspondence. So this is Lustig invention as paper, uh, intersection cohomology complexes in 84. And in that paper, we see introduced a notion of cuspidal pairs, which is a pair which is given by a unipotent element, 
so the pair is a unipotent element and uh, irreducible G phi equivalent cuspidal local system on the unipotent class of that element. And uh, local, this irreducible local system uh, are in bijection with the irreducible character of a group of components, A, a of U phi. And so this is, I mean, it's a way to, to define the notion of cuspidality attached to an answer to a parameter. So I will stop here for this. Thank you. G is G phi, so. and then you have a lady, L, lady, and you can define here some C, A, E of U, and then you can take a, a, a unipotent element which belongs with that in the lady, and you can induce from, from A, L, U to L, U, as this is a kind of induction. So we are, we are very fine, I mean, very small finite group, like for classical group, they are just product of uh, Z, uh, Z mod 2. And in these very, very small groups, you can uh, uh, have a Levy subgroup, and you can induce, and the cuspidal would mean that it does not occur in that induced representation for a proper Levy. So it's the usual notion of cuspidality. I will say more and more on this tomorrow. And, uh, but this kind of thing is very much related to Arthur uh, notion of elliptic temporal character. So you have also this, I mean, it's not exactly the same, it's in the R group, but it's an idea. So quite often this uh, condition 2 will be the backwards This condition will be? Uh, so quite often phi is discrete will be enough, right? Because uh, uh, if it's a regular super pedal then you don't uh, yes, exactly. It's a, I mean, so it's kind of debated what means, yeah, quite, you are perfectly right. Quite often, this condition is is empty. As it's, you know, quite often is equivalent to what I say with almost uh, representation in Kalita work. Yeah. I quite agree, it's quite often, but sometimes it's not. <laughs> it's kind of different. I mean, this is perfectly right, yeah.